Hi everybody, my name is Joseph Vijay. I've come here to explain the basic fundamentals of guitar. Before starting, I would like to say a few words about guitar. Guitar was earlier, in early 15th centuries, it was originated in Spain and it was called as guitar. So after that it was converted to guitar. And guitar is an instrument where all kinds of music would fit in like jazz, rock, pop, funk, classical, western classical, even Indian classical. So and guitar is such a beautiful instrument where you can carry that instrument everywhere, you can accompany for all kinds of occasions and it's a very instrument where you can learn it very fast. So this is Mr. Deshant. Hi guys. Who's going to support me in this event. <music>
is very very important for you all to learn the parts of the guitars for what it has been used for all these small lessons are very important for you all in your guitar life now i'm going to explain you all the types of guitar this is called the acoustic guitar which is basically it gives a more lively tone sound clarity and a very earthy feel basically because it's nothing's been amplified in this it just gives a natural sound this basically contains about some 19 frets which gives a very lively tone and basically it's been invented from spain more spanish and the other guitar is i want to tell you is the electric guitar which is over here well this is the electric guitar the other type of guitar this is basically it's got three pickups and this could be used only by amplifiers external outs like that so basically this has got 23 frets the tone of the guitar more electronic the stock of the guitar is quite thin makes you to move your fingers very easily basically it's been used in lot of all kinds of music basically rock pop jazz funk etc and there are three pickups in this these are the pickups there are two knobs one controls the tone one one is the volume one controls the volume there is a simulator over here where i change the pickups probably in a rock music for example so this kind of playing it's more rockish So this kind of styles could be played only on this kind of guitar. So I think there's some kind of groove in this kind of a guitar also. played in this kind of guitars So these kind of stuff could be played in this kind of guitars. Basically, 
they are powerful because it's been geared with a very powerful pickups and mainly designed for very powerful music. Now I'm going to teach you all the basic lessons of guitar. In that I'm going to teach you all how to strum and form the chords. Basically I'm going to start you all with the D major scale. Why I choose the D major scale is it's very easy to play on a guitar fret. Basically it's been played like this. Let me take it this way. Uh, the easy way to think and form a chord is keep this as a first, second, third and fourth. Basically the first finger should be placed or the third string. This is the third string. Now this is the third string. Place it on the second fret. These are called frets. Second fret. Okay, this is the first. The second one is use your third finger. That is third, this, this. Your ring finger. Basically your ring finger. So third is this. So first, third, the second one, that is, this is the second finger, second finger. So it should be placed on the first string. This is the first string on the second fret. So when you play them together, so this is a D major chord. Slowly, yeah. Secondly, the right hand strumming, which is very, very important because without the strumming, the quality, the specialty of the chord is not being shown. For example, the right hand has to go first down, then up, down, up, down. String by string, one, two, three, four. Reverse it. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. This is the way you pick string by string. The other method of strumming a guitar is using the full, full force on the string. Not, I'm talking about not the full force. A little force, you know, where you can really make a string sound good. This is the way. So. So I'm going to show you all slowly how to do it. One. Two. So you all should form what kind of groove you all want to play. For example, take a bounce kind of beat. This is top twice. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm going to show this slowly to you all. Okay? Now, you'll want to change a different kind of pattern of strumming, which is a little more faster, which could make more dancier. Now I'm going to do this very slowly. In this chord pattern, probably you'll avoid the first, that is the sixth string and the fifth string 
avoid playing because it's an open note. Okay, so you should play the first, second, third, and fourth, four strings, which is going to be like this. If you're going to use the sixth string and the fifth string, it's going to be like this. Which one sound good? So this is like. kind of strumming is by using a pick. Now I'm going to show you the same thing by using plain fingers. This is called the classical way of playing. More like a classical fingering. This is basically your thumb should rest in a very easy position on the fourth string. This is this. This soft, not too soft, not like this. Yeah. Now this is a method of playing the classical fingering on your right hand. Use your index finger on the third string use your middle finger on the second string and your ring finger on the first string so now I wanted to play together with all your fingers. Another important tip I'm going to give you all on your right hand position, on your right hand fingers, little nail has to be there. See, like this. Because the clarity of that is really different from the normal. See, when you pick on a finger, it's going to, it's going to use a nail. See, it's going to be sharp and accurate. So, And most of all, I want to tell you one thing, your right hand position, this is the position of your right hand. Between the bridge and the, the hole of the guitar here. And please rest your elbow here, so it gives you good support. Not like this, or not like this. This is the position. And this is the way you rest your guitar. This is the position of the guitar. Tone becomes more sharp over here. So you can find the difference. Well, now Mr. Nishan is going to join me in playing the basics of guitar. Well, Nishan, so this is the D chord. I'll first show you how to play and stop. So you hit the fourth string, open. Fourth string, open. This is the 
is the first, second, third, and fourth. Okay, this is the first, second, second third, third, and fourth. fourth. Index finger, okay. middle finger, ring finger, and, and little finger. finger. Yeah. So place your index finger on the third string. On this, this is on the second fret. Okay. This is on the second fret. My index finger on the third string. Yeah. Exactly. Please hit the note. Exactly. Now, come into the middle finger. The middle. Yeah. Keep it on the second string. On the second string. Second string on the third fret. Okay. This is, yeah, that's the third fret. Okay. Just on the second string? The middle the finger, string. the middle finger. The middle. Yeah, middle okay. finger. Your ring finger on the second string. On the third fret. Exactly. So, and your middle finger on the first string. Middle finger on the first, first string. On the second fret. No, just play the first three strings. Exactly. So, please play the fourth string open. Yeah. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Okay. Now, I want to reverse the pick. No, you have to reverse the pick. Not play like this. Play like this, reverse. Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, 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 four. Now, I want to tell the difference of the down stroke and the up stroke. This is the down stroke. Yeah. And this is the up stroke. See the down stroke is basically you're hitting the bass notes earlier. This is the bass note. The fourth string? Yeah, the fourth string. Yeah, fourth string is the bass note. So yeah. So when you reverse it, you start off with the first string, which is not a bass string. So this is the difference. So you will play. No. Is it correct? One. Two down strokes and one up stroke. No. Two downs here. One. No. Two down stops. Okay, I'll do it slowly. Okay. should play this. Perfect. So now, I'm going to teach you how to use your finger. So normally you don't have to use a pick for it. Okay. So, 
keep your thumb rest your hand here no no rest your elbow here normal normal, normal position which is comfortable for you hit the open note with the thumb yeah thumb like this use your index finger on the third string yeah the middle finger on the second string exactly and your ring finger on the first string so 3 fingers right now you the basic scales how to use playing um, solo probably and to make your fingers move in a very easy way so let me start with a small scale this comes on a g major do re mi fa so la ti do so the finger positioning should be like this do re mi fa so la ti do first one the index finger second one your ring finger third one again your index finger fourth one again your middle finger fifth one your little finger sixth one your index finger Seventh one, your ring finger. Eighth one, your little finger. So go with this. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi fa so. Now Mr. Nishant is going to play the scales along with me. Now use your index finger, the first note. Do, this is do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la.
play that slowly now. Once more. Now I'm going to teach you all some fingering techniques, some exercise where it's going to help you all to play the guitar very fluently. We are going to play solos or we are going to use rhythm playing, shifting of chords, etc. So it goes like this. La, 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 la. La 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 Now, Mr. Nishant is going to join with me in playing this fingering exercise. So, Nishant, it goes like this. La, 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 la. Well, I'm going to teach you all the second technique and exercise. It's basically a chromatic scale. Basically, I'm going to play this in the first string, which is the E string. Nishan's going to join me playing this.
just play with me and look at notes la 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 show you the second speed the same lesson Now I'm going to show you a song. It's called Bits of Paper. It goes with this. <clears throat> la 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 so now nushan is going to join with us in playing this song nushan it goes with us la it's a d major scale actually okay you start playing this is a d major scale la once more okay back to normal note starting note yeah perfect so up to now every lesson which i have taught you all every small small lesson like finger exercise types of guitar tuning the structure of the guitar an exercise and etc please practice all these things sincerely every day be very dedicated to music definitely one day the, all these small small instruments will definitely help you all in your future music and first of all and most of all i would like to thank super audio for giving me this beautiful opportunity to share my music with you all thank you bye bye see you all next time <laughs>
Yeah, I'm going to show you all some guitar licks, which has been used in a lot of concerts and other stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 